Hey crafters, welcome to the DMs Craft. I'm DM Scott, as you know, good to have you with me. Today we're going to make our own crystals. And you can buy crystals, this is a fairly easy item to find uh, for role-playing games, but they can be quite pricey. Um, you, have to do, you have to buy some supplies for my method, but they're a lot cheaper than if you tried to buy uh, crystals for your games online. And the great thing about this, my method is you can make them really any shape and size, and uh, you can change the color. And so what I'm going to do in this video is show you how I do that. So let's go to the table and uh, get crafting. For the project today, we're going to start with washers. And these are one-inch washers, and they have a quarter-inch hole in them. I like to try to get the ones with the smallest holes. They make the best bases. So uh, I got some of these, and I just need one for right now. But I did get these uh, crystal, this bag of crystals. These are just plastic crystals. I got them at the craft store. I think the bag was like $5. Uh, the thing I like about them, though, is there's different sizes. So there's, a, there's bigger crystals and then small, some smaller ones, too. So that'll be really nice for making different types of crystal formations. Uh, so let's grab some of those out of the bag. And I've got plenty. I can use these forever. The thing I like about with the uh, clear, though, is I can I can paint them different colors later. So I'll show you that when we get to the to the paint section. But right now we're going to need to apply them. So I'm just going to use my handy uh, glue gun here. Uh, and what I'll do is I'm going to put a big crystal on first. So I think I'll just put it like there. And I'll just get that ready. Okay. So now I'm going to build up some smaller crystals on this base. And I'll just put a dab there. And maybe a dab there. So then you can, you can easily build up different crystal formations. And I could even use a bigger one on here, which I think I'll do. This is a very inexpensive alternative to some of those uh, expensive crystals you can buy for your game table. All right, so we'll let that harden up a minute and then uh, we'll move on to the next step. Hey guys, here's my crystal base, and you can see I glued some sand on that, uh, on the edges. So I just uh, did the flocking technique with the white glue and then put the irregular sand on there. Uh, now I'm not going to paint this black because I don't want to cover the crystals up. I like the transparent uh, quality. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a, a metallic plum, and I'm going to give these crystals some color. But I'm going to wet my brush quite a bit. And uh, I don't, I'm not trying to cover these crystals up. I'm just trying to give them a little bit of color. So I'll get it wet, and then I'll just start painting it on there. So this will help give these uh, crystals some color. Um, and that way you can do it with any metallic color, and then you won't be stuck with a particular color. You can make them any color you want. So that's what's really cool about this technique. So now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bleed off a little bit of that paint with a brush. So I just basically wipe the brush off on my uh, paper here, and I'll just pick up a little bit of the color. So if there's seems like it's pooling too much in certain places, just pick it, just pick it up, and it'll it'll keep it from doing that. All right, all right, cool. So now we got a nice color on those crystals, and what we'll do is we'll let this dry, and then we'll finish up with the base. Hey guys, here's a tile with my crystals on. I think they came out really great. Um, these were pretty cheap to make, and uh, you know they look really nice. So what I did is I, you know, I just uh, painted the uh, the rubble on the side of the crystals. Um, I painted it black, and then did uh, pewter gray on it, and then painted and uh, highlighted it with dolphin gray. So it just really blends into the tile itself. Now the crystals, that uh, coloration is just really nice. It just gives it enough color 
to be interesting, but not too much that you can't see the you can't see the transparency of the crystal. So I think that's really really nice, or the translucency. I think that's really nice. Now in game, I had it so that a mage could come up to the crystal and drain the crystal and gain a daily power back, but they would lose a healing surge for doing that. Also, um, I had th these crystals are very volatile on the battlefield, and if they took a, a hit, uh, they would explode, and they did quite a bit of damage. So, if you watch my newest play vids, you'll see uh, they cause quite a bit of mayhem on the battlefield um, for the players, uh, from the players and for the players. So, all right, there you go. There's some uh, nice crystals, and I'll see you next time on the craft. Hey, you. Yeah, you, back here. Huh? I know it was short, but what do you expect? It was a short tip. Watch longer episodes if you want. Jeez, and quit bugging me. Hey, and make sure you join the forum, too. I almost forgot. Oh, yeah, and have a magical craftastic day.